Happy Pentecost Sunday. I'm Jay Tucker, priest in charge of Christ Anglican Church, Devonshire. And it is a joy to know that you will be joining us for these next several minutes for even song. You know, the Bible in Acts chapter 2 says, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were in one place on one accord. What a wonderful celebration it was for us earlier today to join Bishop Nick and our diocesan brothers and sisters across Bermuda for an annual Pentecost celebration that would normally be held in the afternoon. Well, we held it this morning at 10 o'clock, and it was glorious. Well, it's my prayer that as we join together for even song, albeit not traditional, that God would continue to refresh and inspire you with his precious Holy Spirit. Just as the Paschal candle is lighted, which represents the presence of God among us, I pray that you will feel God's presence anew as you view this even song worship experience. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall shew forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. <laughs> poetic inspiration. Create a spirit, Lord of grace. Come, make in us your dwelling place. O purest light in darkness shine. Fill loveless hearts, O love divine. Consoler, hear your people's cry. Come down, O gift of God most high. Descend in peace, O heavenly dove. Come fount of life, come flame of love. As once on Christ the servant's head, the oil of sevenfold grace you shed. 
So now anoint from love's deep springs your chosen prophets, priests, and kings of every gift, the living source of mighty deeds, the unseen force. The Father sends his promised one to speak for all who serve his son. Keep far all those who wish us ill. O dove of peace, be with us still. In every danger at our side, O friend, befriend us, be our guide. Reveal to us the Father's love. Reveal his Son who reigns above. To truth, O truth, make us all true. In love, O love, make all things new. Amen. Psalm 133. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Behold how good and pleasant it is to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, even on Aaron's beard, running down upon the collar of his clothing. It is like the dew of Hermon, running down upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has promised his blessing, even life forevermore. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Grant to your people, good Lord, the spirit of unity, that they may dwell together in your love, and so bear to the world the ointment of your healing and the dew of your blessing. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I pray you're enjoying even song so far. A way of introducing this next selection, I think it's truly amazing the way God works with us and technology. Director of music, Jenny Foster Skelton and Father Gavin Tite, associate priest of St. Mark's and Holy Trinity, submitted to us a challenge. And across the diocese, we had choir members from all of our churches submit video footage of themselves singing Spirit of the Living God. Well, what you're getting ready to see is the result of all of that wonderful energy being pulled together to produce the spirit of the living God. Yes. Yeah. 
his voice and address them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my servants, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs that God did through him among you. As you yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God, what God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. Foreseeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. Being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this that you both see and hear. For David did not ascend into heavens, but he himself says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstools. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. 
us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Father, God, in heaven, come in thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the same our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. But let us from the for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The blessing. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this Pentecost Sunday Evensong experience. It was a blessing to bring it to you, though we've had to navigate the challenges. I know that God is with us, and I pray that you're feeling the encouragement and power of God through these types of broadcasts. I wish to thank those who continue to help us bring and fashion these broadcasts for our, uh, for our edification. Uh, Brother Larry, parent chief of organist, remains so faithful. Uh, Tiffany Fox and Sharon Johnson, with your ongoing commitment to bring broadcasts like these to our worship community, both locally and uh, globally. I wish to thank uh, Daquan Trott and Rashida Abbott, the students, parents, and teachers of our Sunday school, for pulling together the Lord's Prayer. You guys are wonderful, and thank you for that you do in this community to encourage our hearts and our children. Uh, I wish to thank Jenny Foster Skelton, uh, Director of Music at the Cathedral, and Father Gavin Tite, Associate Priest of Holy Trinity and St. Mark's Churches, for what you did to bring all of these voices from across the diocese to sing Spirit of the Living God. Listen, my friends, Pentecost Sunday may have come to an end, but Pentecost as a season is just beginning. It is my prayer that you would know the love and power of God in a new way. Take care, and may God be with you. Amen.